take the train from Euston, and soon after leaving the London conurbation at Watford Junction, the line passes through the Chelton Hills. On a stopping service, there is the option to alight at Tring, where a network of footpaths give access to some of the best scenery that this area can offer. It is a favourite of mine. It is rumoured that the Chiltern Hills will be upgraded to a national park, and after leaving Tring Station, it is not hard to see why. First stop is Albury, but don't walk along the road. Instead, branch off onto the Hertfordshire Way for a more peaceful approach to the village. You might recognize it as it has been used as a film location for the TV drama series Midsummer Murders, so go carefully. You may care to seek refuge inside the church, but judging from some of the plots, it is not a place of guaranteed safety. Soon we join the Icknield Way, an ancient trackway that runs from Wiltshire to Norfolk. It takes us gently uphill through woodland to the Bridgewater Monument. We are now in the Ashridge Estate and former home of Francis Egerton, 3rd Duke of Bridgewater, the canal builder. A path can be taken to Ashridge House, now a college, well worth a visit when open, but check first. These shots were taken 1 August. However, our route continues forward, leaving the Icknield Way temporarily to pass over Moneyberry Hill, later rejoining the way and the Ridgeway for the indisputable highlight, Ivinghoe Beacon, a hill projecting from the main Chiltern Hills Ridge with views into three counties, Hertfordshire, Buckinghamshire and Bedfordshire. It is, in my opinion, quite a place, and access on foot is easy. There are many other great views in the Chilterns, but here it is its unique topography that is so special. I haven't talked much about photography. It is immediately obvious that you need the weather on your side, with of course the right sort of sun. The whole vista requires clarity. Eastwards the hills continue to Dunstable Downs and that chalk lion indicates the location of Whipsnade Zoo. Up here you can see the weather coming from miles away. On one memorable occasion, I continued on the Ridgeway Trail back along the downs to Pitstone Hill. A rather dark, angry-looking cloud gradually loomed up from the west. And sure enough, it had my name on it. I was about to meet it on one of the most exposed places in the area. I got the shot and a good deal more suffering for my art. Never mind, sanctuary in the shape of Tring Station wasn't far, and a hot drink 